Hey guys, Charlie John here in the first episode of Backtrack 5. This is how to install Backtrack 5 onto a Windows machine using a virtual machine from VMware. And what we're going to do is we're going to click download on backtrack-linux.org slash downloads. We're going to go to Backtrack 5, GNOME, 32-bit, ISO and direct. Then click click download and it's a 1.9 gigabyte file. Once that's installed, you make once that's downloaded, sorry not installed, you make sure that it's there. You then want to download VMware Player. I've already got an account, so there should be a login screen over here or a register screen over here for VMware. To create an account and VMware Player is actually a free software, so you just download that. Then once you have it all installed, you just open VMware Player. You go to create a new virtual machine, find the file that you want to create, click next the new Linux and also you need to make sure that the file's name is bt5 gnome-32 and then next click Linux other Linux 2.6.x kernel and click next then name your virtual machine so for example bt5 infinity we're then going to use an 8 GB of RAM as I prefer to. You can actually upgrade this, but I'm going to use 8 GB of RAM, 8 GB of gig, uh, 8 GB of disk size, sorry, for the hard drive, so that I um I use generally memory sticks and everything else to back it up on other things. So then you click split virtual disk into multiple files. Click next, customize hardware, then go to floppy, remove memory, put it to 512 megabytes. It'll only use about 32 megabytes generally if you're looking for um, to use Patrick 5, not very intensely. Then click close and then finish. So it's now starting up. As you can see VMware is booting up. Click enter when this comes up here. We well, want to actually click on the screen. Default boot text mode, so just click enter again. And as you can see, Backtrack 5 is starting up nicely. The default password will be Tor, which is root backwards. And the default username will be root, which is Tor backwards. <laughs> so, once you get the first screen up, where you actually have to enter a command, you put in start x and then press enter. This will then boot up. And the software. Okay, start X and it's creating Backtrack 5 and installing it. Another tip that you really do not want to do if my mouse will actually appear anytime soon. I think it's just loading it. Okay, here. When you're turning it off, do not go reset. You can power off or suspend. Do not go reset. Reset will reset the entire software. Okay, so now that we have Backtrack 5 installed and it's all up here, we want to go to System, Preferences, Monitors, and get it the correct size that we want. So my screen is 13, 1366 by 768. Put it full screen, and there you have it. Backtrack is now in full screen. You can also put it this big and put the size out, etc. So you can click around. And you can do things whilst it's there. Thanks guys, please subscribe, rate and comment. This has been Charlie Chan, sign out.